Hey guys, welcome back to art. Um, so today, we are going to be learning about a type of art called pop art. And we're going to be learning about an artist named Andy Warhol. And then we're going to be creating our own pop art design. Okay? So I'm going to put up here just a little part of a book that I'm reading to you. It's very short, or it's pretty short. It won't be too long. It's just some information about this artist. Okay, so um, Andy Warhol, the artist that we're going to be talking about, was the rock star of the art world. He created the type of art called pop art. One of the fun styles in modern art, he was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was very sick when he was a child and his mom kept him home from school a lot. Um, and it says in here that she would always reward him with a chocolate bar every time that he finished um, like a coloring book page or something like that. So he did a lot of coloring. Um, as a boy, he took weekend art classes at a nearby museum and he grew up, he got a college degree in art and then he moved to New York City. Um, another thing I wanted to read to you is about something that he said. So he said, art is everywhere. Looking at other artists, Warhol, uh, felt that abstract expressionism was too self-centered. Who cared what some other artist was feeling? So abstract expressionism is a type of art that was very popular at the time that he became an artist. Um, it's just the, the name of a, a, like a genre or like a category of art. So basically Andy Warhol, um, he wanted to show that art could be found in the signs, advertisements, and packaging all around us. He made pictures of dollar bills, Coca-Cola bottles, and soup cans. This art became known as pop art because it was based off popular culture. And there's a little picture of him. He said, a quote that he said says, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad. Whether they love it or hate it, while they are deciding, make even more art. So he loved to make art. Okay. So again, pop art, popular art, popular culture. So this is like one of his most famous paintings that he did. Um, I know, it's just Campbell's Soup. But at the time, um, that was one of the super popular objects of that time, which I guess Campbell's Soup is still really popular. Do you guys eat Campbell's Soup? Sometimes I do. Okay. Um, so, for our project, we are going to be also creating a type of pop art. And I'm going to put my picture up here. So, I decided to let you guys choose what object is popular to you. Okay, so of course, I chose a paint palette with a paintbrush. Um, another trait of pop art is that it's very bright and colorful. Um, so that's another thing that we'll talk about, which we kind of were, we did talk about a little bit last week when we talked about the artist Wayne Tebow, because he also um, was a pop artist. Okay, so for this project, what I'm gonna have you guys do is grab a piece of blank paper. If you wanna do a smaller piece of paper so that you don't have to draw this object four times. You can do that. Um, mine is a half sheet of paper. But if you want the full sheet, you can do that as well. Up to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half once and then you're going to fold it in half again. Okay. Once you have it folded in half, unfold it and you just want it to find the middle of the paper and that we show that we have four sections. Okay, so we are ready to get started. I'm going to move my book here. Okay, so now here's the thing. You guys can choose any object that is popular to you. Okay, so it could be food, it could be fruit, a drink, candy, it could be an object, shoes, clothing, um, something that you like, like a sports object, 
a basketball, a baseball, a hockey stick, um, a boxing glove, a, a ballet, ballet shoes. Um, it could be animals. It could be any, it really anything, any object. And you guys are going to draw the object in each one of these boxes, and you're going to do the same exact object. Okay, so here's my paint palette. So I drew my paint palette four times, but I drew it the same way four times. Okay, so now to show you, just to not take up all of your time, I'm gonna do like a, maybe like a little bit of a simpler object. Let me just move that up. Um, something not as difficult. Um, perhaps I would do maybe like a strawberry just to show you, just something like pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my strawberry here. So again, you guys are choosing your own object. It does not have to be a paint palette. It doesn't have to be a strawberry. I want you guys to choose an object that you like. So again, I am just drawing my strawberry four times, trying to make it look the same in each one. Uh-oh, you can't see that. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I just tried to make them look like as similar as I could in each section. So you guys want to try and choose kind of like a simple object, not something that's too difficult, only because you're going to have to do it four times and you're going to be coloring it in four times. So why would we do this four times? Well, in pop art, they usually tend to like keep adding more of the same thing and they just add different colors of it. So even like how our artist Wayne Tebow from last week, he did all those desserts. He used to do just like a bunch of them and sometimes he'd make them all different colors. But Andy Warhol, he does all of his art, shows different colors, different backgrounds um, for each object that he does. Okay, so then once you are done with your object, you would then go ahead and outline your object. If you're doing that section or that step, I mean, um, maybe add in the little dots for the strawberry seeds. Okay, so I just tried to make them look as similar as I could in each one, and then I outlined them. Okay, so your next step after that, you can use crayons or markers for this. I chose markers only because I don't use markers a lot in my art, and I wanted something a little different, and it would work totally fine just because I did make it small. Um, and you're going to choose different colors for each object and different colors for each background. So maybe... In this one, I do the strawberry orange, which again, this shouldn't be like realistic looking. It's pop art, so you can use lots of bright colors. So maybe I color this strawberry orange. And then the top can be, let's do purple. The stem and the little thing are purple. And then the background for this one will be, what do we think, pink? So then I'd color this entire background pink. 
going all the way to the edges where my paper was folded. And then remember, try and color in one direction. Inside the lines, nice and neat, especially if you're using markers, you wanna try and use like the side of the marker instead of the tip, just because this will cover more space, at least if you're coloring in the background. And then it makes it look a lot nice and neat, a lot nicer and neater if you do it that way. Okay, so then as always, I would finish Coloring that in. Oops, you can't see that. <laughs> okay. So there's one section. I would choose different colors for each one of the rest of them. I'm gonna put my paint palette back up there. This one took me a lot longer than the strawberries did just because I added a lot more details. Like each paintbrush, each little paint thing on the end, each little paint splatter on the trays, like all, we're all different colors. So um, this is what you should be, your goal should be is to choose an object that you like a lot that um, kind of just shows to you that it's popular. Okay, so I hope you guys had fun with this project and I will see you guys next time. Bye.